Community is, is far more than a good idea. It's what you're built for. It's how God has created you to be. We're built to know and be known, to love and be loved, to dance with God and with others, as Lewis said. But there's a problem. True community doesn't come naturally. We know this. We know that our default modes are not to just be in this. We're just automatically born into loving, beautiful communities to where we're loving each other, being known by each other. That's because isolation, that's the word I'll use for it. Isolation is the response to sin and shame. Isolation is the response to sin and shame. Perfect community did exist in the garden, but things went terribly wrong. God exists in community, created, built Adam and Eve to live in community. They're in community with him and with each other, but then they fall into sin and they rebel against God and we see what happens after that in Genesis 3, 8, and 9. Adam and Eve rebelled. They sinned against God. They were ashamed and they hid themselves. Genesis 3, 8, and 9 says, After they sinned, they're hiding. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? In 2009, an article titled Lonely Planet, a lady named Johanna Kornblatt, sweet name, she writes, she writes this. There are more than 300 million of us in the United States, and sometimes it seems like we're all friends on Facebook. But the sad truth is that Americans are lonelier than ever. Between 1985 and 2004, the number of people who said there was no one with whom they discussed important matters tripled to 25%, according to Duke, Duke University researchers. So in the last in 19 year span, it tripled the amount of people that said, I don't have really anyone in my life that I discuss anything that's really of value or important. We see that growing in our world is isolation. We see that loneliness grows and then... I'll share a link to this article. You can read it. It's interesting. But they see even the health of people has gotten worse and worse and worse as we've gotten to more and more isolation. And as we've got lonelier, depression has grown. Facebook, things like that, they've not really done a good job at helping us not isolate because we still feel like we're in community with people and we're talking to people, but we're really just putting forth the nice and pretty stuff and whatever people we want people to think about us. People that don't know me and that are, they've added me on Facebook or have added them. We don't really know each other. They probably think I'm like an awesome man of God because I, I mostly post a lot of scriptures, stuff like that. They don't know me like you guys know me. You wouldn't look at me and just go, oh my gosh, Brett is just this mighty man of God. He, the all, you guys know I'm, do what? Not in that voice. You guys know that I, I'm not some super pastor or anything like that but my point is what we put forward on social networking that kind of stuff we put forward not really the true darkness that we're dealing with we don't really put forward our struggles we just put forward whatever we want other people to see right adam and eve's response to sin and shame was isolation they hid themselves and we've been hiding ourselves ever since 